so I did uh, a poll or uh, a survey and asked uh, all you guys what kind of videos would you like to see more of from the channel and about 75% of you said that you wanted to see more of the immigration videos moving and immigrating to Canada and therefore I will post more of such kind of videos. Thank you very much for participating in the survey. I certainly, certainly appreciate it. I started this channel back uh, in um, uh, February. It was a uh, second month of the year, and woof! I the uh, the channel was essentially um, monetized back in August. That was uh, six months after, and I am certainly certainly um, uh, privileged and happy and I certainly appreciate that you guys keep on coming back to the channel I certainly uh, look forward to reading your comments your ideas your concepts on what you would like to see more of and exchange different um, thought processes within the uh, comment box so that other viewers would also have different ideas on how you tackle your own immigration journey whether it be student whether it be a work permit whether it be a family sponsorship or whatnot or even a landed pr guys share your experience share your um, your thoughts your ideas so that other people will benefit from what you have experienced already and I certainly appreciate you guys uh, coming into the to the channel essentially and I certainly look forward to giving you and sharing with you more information this year in 2022. The AIPP was created by the government in order for hiring of foreign national workers to be uh, easier for employers before AIPP and let's step back a little in order for us to to ensure that we are in the same page before AIPP if an employer here in the Atlantic uh, region wanted to hire a foreign national the employer would then have to apply for LMIA or called LMIA and LMIA is um, it, it's expensive it takes so much time it takes so much effort and resources the LMIA essentially is a, a documentation that proves to the government that an employer is not able to find a certain uh, worker for a certain position and therefore uh, elmia is one elmia per one job so you can only imagine how expensive and how lengthy it takes for uh, one employer to look or, or hire two or even five uh, employees with the uh, system of elmia and because of this uh, issue or this trouble and this struggle the aipp was created or the atlantic immigration program the atlantic immigration program essentially deletes the idea of elmia but before being able to hire or being a member of aipp the employer will have to be a designated employer within the program of aipp and therefore they had to do various documentations and bureaucracies as well there are uh, a list of uh, employees or employers who are designated by AIPP. If you want to know this list, I will link it in the description box and you can click it and you'll find all the employers that are designated by AIPP. Now, AIPP essentially allows employers to hire foreign national workers easier. Now, there is a good news with the AIPP. The government decided that AIPP will be a permanent program. This will be a permanent pathway and therefore it will not be canceled, terminated or opened or reopened. Again, it's a permanent pathway that people can check every single time uh, whenever uh, an employer is hiring for a certain position and uh, in March 2022 the program will be launched or relaunch to be a permanent one there will be changes according to the government of New Brunswick there will be changes in uh, some 
of the uh, rules and regulations of the IIPP, which we will see during the relaunch in March 2022. And until then, we certainly do not know what these uh, changes are, but nevertheless, it is certainly good news that this is going to be a permanent uh, pathway. And this is a truly a good avenue for everyone to explore if you wanted to immigrate to Canada. If you wonder about the uh, snapshot of processes of the IIPP, here is the snapshot of the processes in order to be legitimate with the IIPP program. The first step is to receive a job offer from a designated employer. Now, in order for you to receive an offer from a designated employer, you will have to apply for a job. <laughs> and therefore, you will have to visit the website of each province. I did not find any uh, website that is actually uh, the AIPP website itself. What happens is that each province, such as the uh, Nova Scotia, NB, PEI, uh, and, uh, and L, Newfoundland and Labrador, they have got their government websites and within the government websites, they have got the AIPP uh, program or pathway. There is no one overarching website where it, all the information about EIPP, the designated employers, the jobs wanted, the uh, procedures and regulations. There is no such uh, website that I have seen so far. I try, I researched, but I did not find any. And therefore, what happens is that you will have to go to the website of each province that is a part of the IIPP and from each uh, website of the province you will have to research the designated employers and when you search the designated employers you will have to go to the website of those employers and find out if any of the job hiring or job vacancy that they have is something that you can apply for and that's how you essentially start now having said the very first step on the AIPP pathway, um, I would certainly recommend that even before you start looking for a job uh, on the AIPP or designated employers of uh, AIPP, I certainly recommend that you complete your documentations first. And I mean, everything even if you don't even have a passport then probably it'll make sense for you to get your passport first before you go try looking for a job on AIPP because if you do not have completed if you have not completed your documents and then the employers will certainly not provide you the priority priority will be provided to those who are ready to go and ready to apply for uh, certain jobs or ready to apply for PR essentially uh, on the AIPP program. So even before looking for a job, start completing your documents first. That's, that's essentially how it is because if you do not have your documents completed and then you do not get priority uh, from the employers. And when it comes to representatives, you do not need representatives. You can apply for PR all by yourself. I did my application all by myself. I read, reread, and then reread again, and then reread again the instructions, uh, document list, and everything else in between. It is time consuming indeed, but certainly everything is worth it. You will have to be patient when it comes to reading and truly understanding the instructions uh, on the uh, checklist of the IRCC. Now, EIPP, I would say, is a better alternative uh, when it comes to uh, applying for Canadian PR as opposed to getting or applying for student visa. As you can imagine, student visa is truly expensive. The tuition fee for student visa is about ten, eleven thousand dollars a year, and if you had to take a, a two-year course, and then that's ten, eleven times two plus everything else, you have to have your rent, your food, miscellaneous, uh, insurance, and then you have to have your gym membership, and then you have to buy this, and then you have to buy that. It becomes very expensive if you are able to um, apply and find a job through AIPP. I believe that this is a better. Um, prospect really uh, than uh, coming to Canada through student permit but if you absolutely do not have any more a uh, prospect or you absolutely have turned all stones and uh, 
uh, and research all the possibilities and uh, student permit is uh, something that in your mind is uh, your most uh, sensible pathway and then make it happen i did a video on uh, the student permit possible reasons for a student permit visa uh, to be rejected if you want to know more about this i will link it in the description box and we will actually tackle more of the uh, student permit do's and don'ts uh, here in the channel i certainly hope to see you uh, on those videos so now having discussed the aipp again it will be relaunched in march 2022 in this case here we will revisit the aipp uh, changes and the uh, new rules and regulations hopefully they have got more employers in the, the designated list of aipp and uh, we will tackle more of the aipp uh, possibilities and uh, prospects in our future video thank you very much indeed i hope that you gained value in this video and in my channel i certainly hope to see you in my next video